I think I'm live. I think I'm live. Um, hello and welcome to my stream. Sorry, I'm late. I forgot it was Thursday. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so today is a promotional stream. I received a copy of this code from the publisher, um, which is Rise of Laker Games. Um, this is developed by Stranger Games, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. I could be butchering it. And this is uh, Red Bow. Um, it's the same people that made my big sister um, and Ignore This. One of which I have played, one of which is in the queue to play. Um, and I really enjoyed my big sister. It was quite interesting. Uh, the art style on this is slightly disturbing as well with the uh, long necked, long armed um, Japanese monster people. Um, oh, thanks for the host, Mr. Cornus. But um, we shall... Hi everyone. Um, give it a go. It's supposedly quite um, short. Sorry, I need less volume on my TV. It's loud. Um, so we will see whether we do a double promo stream or not. I do have another one I can do, um, but I'm kind of tired and I've got this headache sort of lurking around. So we might just do one and leave it and maybe do something else tomorrow. Um, so we'll see. So tutorial, use the left stick to move. A button for interactions. Menu to access menu slash inventory. Sounds good. Okay, so sleepy row. That dream. Was it a dream? So there we go. We've got settings. So sound, music. So auto text. We probably don't want auto text. Okay. Saving game. There's a save button. Game saved and inventory. It's a glowing pendant. So we have a glowing pendant. Okay. Draw. There's nothing in here. <laughs> That's spelled wrong. It's the wrong kind of drawer. Nothing here. Good. Not tied anymore. Okay. Door. Okay, so fairly basic. There. Television. Wonder what's on. Nothing. Bookshelf. The old bookshelf. Hey, what's this? A key? I wonder what it's for. There's nothing else here. So now do we have a key? Key to the front door! Awesome. Refrigerator, empty, typical. Dishes are done, and my hands are pretty clean. The oven isn't working. Oh dear. Back door. It's pretty dark outside. It's a good thing this door's locked. This is a short game. I'm just going to play through. I can use the key I found to unlock it. Um. Oh, okay. I have actually got to use the key. Right. Okay. Should I really leave? What if this isn't a dream? Am I even alive? Come on, Rose. Snap out of it. Be brave. Slightly. Oh, bleep bloop. Keys unlock the world. 15G. I was expecting to see something. I'm slightly freaked out by the creepy hands holding the bows in the corner, but at least it gives a nice backdrop to, drop to me. Though I am, of course, wearing black, so I'm vaguely invisible today. Though I have my It's a Trap uh, t-shirt on. Though, with Callie, it's not a trap. I can I can strip the fuzzy belly ages. I did it for like an hour last night. It was amazing. Um, instead, I saw nothing. Nothing but the darkness. But I stepped forward. Then everything became clear. Okay, now we're up. Where am I? Where's my house? 
This must be a dream. If it's a dream, then how do I wake up? It's always good to try and go backwards. Because sometimes j games do reward you for going backwards. Debris. Oh, I'm not the only one here. Um, excuse me? Can you help me? Excuse me? That's creepy! Ah. It looks like the big sister from the little from the previous game. I can help you. Uh, no thanks. I'm fine. I don't think you are, little girl. I see that you're lost. Oh, I'm not lost. I just can't seem to find where my front door went. Do not be afraid, little girl. I bring you no harm. Unless... Excuse me. You bring it to me. I don't plan on hurting you. You're way too creepy. What are you anyway? I am known as Kubi. I watch out over the void of the road. I wait for nothing, and I wait for no one. I feed off the souls lost in the void. Well, what are you going to do with my soul? As I said, little girl, I can help you. Okay, how can you help me? I can help you leave this place. If you can help me. She knows. You need my help? Yes. We are not alone. There is another. <laughs> now we're getting Star Wars reminiscence. There is another. <laughs> or Doctor Who. She lives off the road. She wishes to get rid of me. But why? Because I'm not like her. I am seen as a monster in her eyes. She has a point, you know. Yes, she does. But so may you. What is your view? Uh, I, I don't know. Then the time for judgment can wait until you're sure. searching for? A question no one has ever asked me before. Oh, hello. Making new friends! My name is Kubi. Having achievements like nobody's business here. Alright, path. Let's take the path. Notices. It's a bunch of notices. They all say the same thing. Go away, beast! house. It's too dark to see inside. I wonder who lives here. It's locked. There's a note on the door. Leave me alone. Okay. Can I fashion some kind of lockpick out of a bone? Should I check it out? Well, we don't really have a choice, do we? Oh. 
Oh, I remember my big sister had like four or five endings based on decisions. There were some really creepy endings as well. I think I did them all on a, a stream, like loaded up. You could load up this game at different bits and replay some things. I enjoyed that game, I did. Huh? Oh my gosh! She's dead! What are you doing? Okay, they probably shouldn't have all the same voice. What are you doing in my house? Get out, now! You're still alive? But how? How did you get in my house? Answer me. The door unlocked itself. I'm sorry for intruding. Do you honestly think I would believe that? A door unlocking itself? I bet it was that wretched creature that did it. Oh, you mean Kubi? I can't believe that thing has a name. What do you want anyway? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that thing. What about it, that vile monster? Why do you hate it so much? Because look at it. It's a monstrous, disgusting. But it seems to be peaceful. It lies. It tells nothing but lies. Why? Why does it lie? <sighs> Sorry. But there was a sigh there. <laughs> I just turned it into a yawn. Do you know where we are? No. We are in a place between life and death. A purgatory for people like me. For people like you? A place where souls are lost and found. Found by the sink outside to ease them. And why are you here? Huh? Why are you here? I asked first. Hmm. Fine. I am here because of my daughter. Your daughter? My daughter's soul is lost and I was trying to find it. But now I am stuck in here. I can help you down. There's no point. Not with that thing outside. I'll tell you what. If you can get rid of it, I'll come down. <sighs> I'll find us a way out of this place. How can I trust you? Just look at me. I'm human, just like you. Please help me. I need time to think. I'll be back. By the way, my name's Akira. I'm Ro. Please help me, Ro. I don't know why she's suddenly French. Floating above at the floor. My name is Akira. It's a sink. I can't turn the water on now. It must be broken. Sigh, another sink, eh? <laughs> Come on, Stranker. <laughs> okay, I got an achievement for trying to turn on the sink. Oh, that's just so much funny. Okay, I guess I go talk to the lady on the outside. She says something if she can help. Ah, uh, excuse me. Mr. Kubi? Mister? You're back, little girl. I assume you spoke to Akira. I did. She doesn't seem to like you very much. I can be like oh, I can be likable, and then I cannot. It all depends on one's perspective. I think there's more to you than meets the eye. You're not telling me everything. Are you? You are right, Ro. So you do know my name? Yes. I know the names of everyone, everything. But only what needs to be known. What do you mean? <sighs> I see it all, drifting through the road. I see the lost soul screaming for an answer. Do you see her soul? I, I do not. Why? Because it is not her that is lost. But
but Akira, her daughter, was too young to understand death. Her soul moved on. Akira was a foolish. So Akira took her own life, yes. It is a common mistake. Why was it a mistake? We do not choose the times we let go. Life will choose for us. If we break this rule, we end up here. On the road. It symbolizes... It symbolizes an unfinished journey. She is searching for something that is not here. Is there a way for her to leave this place? Yes. How? I must tell her. She must accept what has happened. She must move on. That's impossible. She lost her child. Then her soul will be stuck here forever. There must be another way. There is. But I'm sure you will never find it. I must. Then ask me a question. A question that I have never been asked before. I will release her soul from the road. But just remember this. If she does not accept what has happened, have you really saved her? Once you have made your choice, place an item on the debris next to me. This will be your answer. Very well. I would say it was a pleasure meeting you, Ro. But nothing here is pleasurable. Farewell, Ro. <laughs> Self-sacrifice. The greatest of all deeds. I think I've got an ending. I put the pendant on the rock. <laughs> what a weird dream. The road? That creature? I'm just glad I'm finally awake. There's nothing in here. Aha, uh -huh. so yes. I think we get stuck in a loop until we find a good ending. <gasps> There's nothing else here. Does that mean the... Uh... open. Hello. Where am I now? A shop? Kitty! It looks like somebody's home. But where is my home? Why? Why am I here? The grocery store. Just pop down to the shops. It's just pure darkness out there. I can't see a thing. I better stay here. Uh, is anyone watching today? Oh cool, some fireworks. I'll take some of the firecrackers. The neighbor's kid used to scare his dog with these. Stupid kid. The dog didn't sleep for a week. Mean person. Okay. Upstairs. Oh. The phone ringing, huh? The phone. Hello? Hello? <sighs> Is there someone there? Am I pretty? Who is this? They hung up. Who was that? Oh well, I better keep searching this place. It's no time. Random caller. Then how come it rang earlier? Oh, 
there's nothing useful here. But wait a second. There's something shimmering up there. But I can't reach it. Step ladder. Let's see if I can use this to reach it. What is this? A lighter? It could be useful, I guess. Oh good. Well, we've got a lighter and fireworks now. Just randomly go into someone's house. It's a bunch of photos. There's a pale woman with her boyfriend in all of them. Only someone's drawing a big smile over the boyfriend's face. Oh, that's just creepy. Oh, smile for the camera. This woman looks familiar. It's an old dirty bed. Who lives here? Sink! Achievement for a cat! You could try calling it. Yes. Though I could also Oh god, there's someone someone in the dark there. In the, the other room. Oh that's creepy. Okay. How would I get him to drop it? I mean firecrackers and you know you know but uh hmm. okay why is someone in the storage room okay can we cook something on this shelf okay. magazine rack am i pretty what kind of magazine name is that oh hello pretty vogue goes a long way. It's a power box. Strange. There's a cable running to the sewer over there. Maybe it's powering what's going on. Better not tamper with it. It's a manhole. It must lead to the sewer system. like a bad idea, but oh well. Seems like the ignite is broken. Now I just need something to light the stove. Okay, here we go. This should wake up Mr. Kitty. We are bad, bad people. Also, don't stand! Yeah, thank you. It looks like Mr. Kitty ran away. Sorry, Mr. Kitty. Let's see if we drop the key. Happy Fourth of July! Fireworks in a pan. Oh look! Shiny key. I think it said storage key. Thank you, Mr. Kitty. Aha! Uh -huh. Sorry about the loud noise. Ah, if this were Cali, Cali would enjoy the fireworks! Here goes nothing. What the? Who are you? I am Miniqui. Do you think I'm pretty? I can't even see you. Why are you hiding in the shadows? Because I live in them. It is easier to hide seen. Thus, I make the darkness my home. Then how can I tell if you're pretty? 
Then I will show myself. This is what I look like. Am I pretty? What is that around your mouth? It is a red bow. To conceal my everlasting smile. Smile? How can anyone be happy living in a place like this? So dark and damp. You didn't answer my question. Am I pretty? Well, I think you are. Uh, huh? Who is that? Someone that helps me remember. Remember what? To remember to smile. Please forgive me, little one. Who is that screaming? Where was that screaming? Am I pretty? 15G. Well, am I? It's a toilet. Disgusting. Wait, what's that? It looks like some sort of crowbar. Maybe I can use it somehow. It's in the toilet. Oh, it's a manhole opener. Hi, Superboy! Welcome to my vaguely creepy stream. I don't know if anyone else is here. I haven't got my laptop open, so I can't see um, viewer count. Um, I'm streaming blind. Um, but for anyone that's new to the stream, this is Red Bow. It, um, this is a promo stream because... Oops, I forgot to select that right. Um, I got given a copy of the game by the publisher for streaming purposes. Um, so I am streaming it, because why not? Um, it's by the same devs, um, Stranga, that made my little bit, my big sister, which I've streamed before, which was really good. And also Ignore... Just Ignore It, I think it's called, which I haven't streamed yet, but it's on my list to stream. Oh yeah, this came out yesterday, and it's like 10% off or 20% off for the first week. So I pick it up. It's only like four quid. This should be able to open it. Yay! I don't need this anymore. Yes, let's down go down a creepy manhole. Into the sewers we go. Hope there's no gators down there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, hang on, cockeye. Um, hmm. Who's there? Wait, you're not. My name is Ro. And you are? Cockeye. My name's Cockeye. But, but, she calls me Smiles. I, is she still here? H has she gone? How, how did you get here? Whoa, slow down with the questions, mister. Even I don't know how I got here. And I don't know where your lady friend went. She's no friend of mine. Not anymore. Why? Because she did this to me. I didn't deserve this. Right? Look, mister, I don't even know you. Uh, am I... pretty? I don't know, you kind of look like a head in a box. I, I said you are, my darling. You're the prettiest girl in the whole world. You have a lovely smile. What are you talking about? Bro, you have to help me. If you help me, I will help you escape this place. But only if you trust me. Really? How? This nightmare will play over and over until she's dead. What? I can't kill anyone. You have to. Please. What? No! There must, there must be another way. That is what the last person to end up here said. <laughs> yeah, Eep. How are you doing anyway, Superboy? Wait, I'm not the first. 
Who else has been having these dreams? Just promise me one thing. Just don't answer her question. What question? Please, Ro. End this nightmare for the both of us. Okay. Broken TV? She brought it down here. I was forced to watch her dance. She was quite the TV star. But I couldn't take any more, so I snapped the power cable and destroyed that box. There's a power extension cable leading to the surface. You're locked out of your house! How did you manage that? Impressive locking yourself out of your house. Power's off. I just need to lower an acuity to the sewer. Okay. Ooh, a bottle of torch oil. Good torch bunny. Wet weather. Okay. Always look twice. I'm hoping you um, can get back in without having to like call a locksmith or anything. That's a shame that she's uh, they're working late. Um, inaccessible without a car. You're stealing your own Wi-Fi by the door. Oh, I hope it's not cold. It's been raining all day here. Is this her and him? I better take this. Okay. So now we have a pendant, a flip lighter, a key, torch oil. Power cable. A photo of a couple hugging each other. <laughs> That's lucky, but sitting still is bad. Because... I always find that I'm fine if I'm walking when it's cold, but as soon as I stop, um, it's something you'll laugh at. So, yeah. Um, this is why I don't like like Yale locks because you can so easily lock yourself out. Um, or if you live with someone and they lock the door and you don't have a key, which is what happened to my neighbour. I got a phone call going, are you in? <laughs> Do you still have my spare key? <laughs> and I was like, yes. Because <laughs> he'd um, taken his little one to nursery and then his wife had gone out and then she'd locked the door but he didn't have his key. So I had to let him in to his own house, which is just funny. But this is why he has a key next door. Um, and he's got a copy of mine in case as well don't remember the last time I locked myself any out of anywhere. I'm fairly certain I must have done it at university. It sounds like something that I'll have done once and then never again. Um, What voice did I do? Oh, where did you go, little one? I was trying to find a way out of this place. You can't escape. Not until you answer my question. Am I pretty? Uh, I guess so. Oh, you lost your key. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Um. Well, in this day and age, you can't really leave a key under a flower pot because that's just asking to get broken into. Um. I guess leaving one with a neighbour, if you've got a trustworthy neighbour, works. Um. 
One would assume your partner would come home early, given that you were locked out. That would be nice of them, but um, depends, I suppose, on what they do. And, you know, if they're like a doctor in surgery, then they're not going to be able to get home early. <laughs> um, oh, I spy a leaky. I think. But yes. Hello. Um, well, then. Oh! Am I pretty now? What the heck are you? Answer me, am I pretty? I, I don't know. Only one has said that I was pretty. After I revealed my face. Kokai? Smiles. Yes. It's time to say hello. Let's hope this works. I don't even know what I'm doing. I have a power cord and torch oil and I don't know. Seems like we have a visitor, Kokai. Leave the girl alone. Yeah, I thought she was going to eat me too. Welcome, bro. I see you have met my pet. Smiles. You could answer my question. What was his answer? Giggle. What was your answer, smile? I, I said you had a pretty smile. Um. Oh, I, I, I said you had a pretty smile. I thought that was so sweet that I gave him a pretty smile too. You didn't deserve what you did to him. I'm not even quite sure what she's done to him. I, I, I don't even want to try and understand what she's done to him. To be fair, I think that would hurt my brain. You're not pretty. You're ugly. What? How dare you! Oh god, now she's going to eat me! Your little best! How dare you call me ugly! She's right, you know. I got done it now. What? No, please, darling! Please don't call me ugly. Shh. It's okay, my sweetness. I didn't mean it. Just talk with me. Not with her. Do you think I'm pretty? Of course, my sweetness. Oh, darling. He seems to have her distracted. Now's my chance. What the bloody hell am I supposed to do? I mean... Uh, oil? I can't do it while she's here. I have to find another way. Okay. There, it's connected. Now I just need to turn the power back on. Okay. Time to fry, ugly lady. <laughs> what have you done? I just wanted to be... Pretty. Gee. It's a power box. Strange. There's a cable running to the sewer over there. Maybe it's powering what's down there. Better not tamper with it. Go check on them. Okay. Where is she? Did it work? I don't see her anywhere. Coco? Are you okay? Oh no, 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 no! I killed him! What a shame, bro. Oh no! I wonder what this switch does. Uh oh. Deep fried, bro! 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, right. It's probably from the last time I saved. Okay. Oh, that's clever. Also, I'm very glad that I saved before I talked to her. So I don't want to start a new game, so... Yeah. Okay, I'm not reading it out again. Except that I think I've gone and done... Bugged it because... Can't set him on fire. But yes, basically shocking her, that was a bad plan. Can I just set her on fire? for you. What is it? Do you remember this? That picture. Our, f our first date. Where did you get this? You've been living in the shadows too long, lady. It was right outside your door. I haven't left that place for so long. And now I have a question for you. <laughs> for me. Do you think you're pretty? Yes, I do. That's a lie. You're right, it is. Ever since I lost my dancing career, I thought it was over my looks. So I asked my boyfriend if I looked ugly. And he said, You have a pretty smile. <laughs> he must have overreacted. I'll say, just look at him. Please forgive me, my darling. I let my own selfishness destroy our lives. Especially yours. I forgive you. I've waited a very long time to tell you that. Thank you, my love. And thank you, Ro. I will send you home. And now we can have a happy afterlife together. go. An undying love sparked by our memories. <sighs> it's another situation where I've got no idea what's going on. Or indeed how I had to get out of it. Okay, what have we got? We've just got a pendant again. locked. Whoa, now we're going under the sink. Okay. Where am I now? I'm on a boat! A boat? I'm the king of the world! I can't get through. There's a locked bar in my way. Maybe there's a key around here somewhere. Fishing rod? It looks pretty old. It might break if I try and use it. Still, it might be useful. Huh? It's empty. Wait, there's something shiny in there. I can't reach it. 
I need something to fish it out. Oh, I wonder if I can use my new fishing rod. Let's hope this line co holds. I got it! A key. Won't you unlock, little guy? I don't need this fishing rod anymore. It'll probably break if I try and use it again. Okay. What the... What the heck are you? Who <coughs> oh, the heck am I? Who oh, the heck are you? And what are you doing on me boat? I woke up here. My name's Ro, by the way. Heck. Well, Ro, I didn't say you could come aboard. But since you're here, you think you could find me some bows? Some bow? Oh, some booze? <laughs> yeah, something to drink. You look too short to be allowed to drink. And you look a little too human to be here. Listen, I'll make you a deal. Find me some bulls and I'll help you get home. Deal? I don't know, how do I trust you? <laughs> Tis the store on me boat. Hoffa's there, Ro. Ha, oh, and by the way, the name's Shojo. <laughs> Where the heck am I supposed to find booze? Well, <laughs> if you shot up out of nowhere, I'm sure some bulls will too. And you can always check below for some. Here's the key that will get you into the hull. Thank you. Huh? An empty bottle. What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? I lie in the morning. This could be useful. I can't do anything with it. Okay. So how is everyone this fine... I think it's Thursday? I have no idea how it's Thursday or not. Okay, so... What have I picked up? Old key. Key for the hull. Empty glass bottle. Let's try that one. I don't need this key anymore. This place is awfully dark. Why does this keep happening to me? Am I stuck in a dream? Why is there a blue person chained up? This is no dream, little one. Huh? Who said that? Who are you? The important question is... Who are you, little one? My name's Ro. It seems we finally meet at last. Wait, how did you know who I am? I see many who travel through this world, each with their own journey to discover. And you're not the first I've seen that wears a red bow. So this is not a dream? It depends on what you think is a dream. Our worlds collide once you fall asleep. Dreams are just our imagination of past events. But do you remember any of this, Ro? No, I don't remember. Then this must be real. We are not created by dreams, but by memories. Memories of those who have suffered. Help mould this world. Then how did I end up here? That answer is much more simple than you think. But for me to answer your question, Ro, I will need something from you. Great, there's always a catch. I only ask for my freedom, Ro. That drunken imbecile, he concealed me in this wretched cage. Why, you seem friendly enough. He doesn't trust my nature. Nor should you. Your nature? Which is? I have a bad habit of drowning things, Ro. It is my purpose. Well, that's reassuring. Let me ask you something, Ro. What is your purpose? Mine is to find a way home. And you won't find it until you help me. We spirits are just as vulnerable as you. Just remember that, Ro. Okay. I am Umbi. I have more than meets the eye. What's this, a crowbar? This could be useful. Oil drums. Hello? Create. I think they meant crate. Old key, empty glass bottle, crowbar. It's a big box. Well, let's give it a shot. There. Whoops, broke the crowbar. 
I wonder where this hole leads to. Oh, a gate. Great, it's locked. Why is everything locked in these weird places? Guess I'll have to find another key. I'm going to have a key. Let's try you here. It worked! Gate switch. This must switch to release Umbi, but do I really trust him? I'd better wait and be sure first. Rum barrels. Well, this must be the booze Shoujo was talking about. But I can't just carry it in my hands. I need to find something to put it in. Oh, didn't mean to hit save, but that's okay. Um, empty bottle. This should work. There, now I just have to give this to Shoujo. Oh. Can I not just release him? Um, Any look, row. No, not yet. But I still don't trust you, you know. It's not about trust, row. Trust is useless in this world. I remember a time when this vessel had a crew. Loyal and hardworking. Always followed the captain's orders. They trusted him. Now they sleep soundly in their deep sea beds. By the deeds of my cold, lifeless hands. I can see now why Shoujo doesn't trust you. I am no murderer. I cannot drown what has already drowned. What do you mean? The crew trusted an alcoholic to lead them. He should be at the bottom of the sea, not in the bottle. Wait, Shoujo is the captain? If Shoujo is the captain, then what does that make you? The revenge. I need to go now. Ro, you are not part of our world. Therefore you should not help us. Find a way home. What? Weirdos. We shouldn't give him his... Oh, well, let me talk to him first. Hey, Shoujo, can I ask you something? Did you find me any booze yet? Not yet, but what happened to your crew? What do you mean? They're outside working. Did you kill them? What? How dare you think I... Did you murder them? I I I I didn't mean to. It, it was my fault, all my fault. This used to be a humble fishing vessel, topped with the greatest crew you've ever seen. I was so proud of them. They were like family to me. But I saw them more than my real family. I spent all my days fishing. I was never around to be a husband and a father. I came to work one morning and found a note. Right here in this very spot that I'm sitting. She left me, took the kid too. I worked so hard for my boy that I forgot about him. A father's deepest fear. So what's one to do in a situation like this? Drink. Drink till one's soul dies along with their dignity. The first storm had trapped us in. I was too drunk to stay awake. I passed out. When I woke, everything was gone. Everything but me mere boat. I lost more than just my family. I lost my whole life. Maybe there's a way to fix this. You can't fix death row. But there must be a good ending to every story. Sometimes stories never end. That's why we're here. Did you find me any booze yet? Not yet. Let me know when you do. Okay. I hope I didn't have to use the pendant with everything. Hmm. I'm going to try freeing. Talking to Umbri first. Okay. Can 
Can I ask you something? Yes, you may. How did I end up here? I want to know before I release you. Well, then let me ask you a question, Ro. What do you do when you encounter a problem? I try to work it out and solve it. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? What if there was no solution? What would you do then? Then I would ask for help. That is what we live for, isn't it? Help, because we cannot help ourselves. We are trapped here, Ro. In a world where we relive our fates. Until the end of time. That is why we ask for your help, Ro. It is people like you who we hope for. But why me? You were chosen because of your nature. Your goodwill. Am I the only one? No, there are many just like you. Young boys and girls. They drift into our world through slumber. Only kids are chosen? Yes. Children have the mind to learn and observe. They are able to make the most pure decisions. And in their sleep, they are free from control. That is why they are chosen. Oh, this is Stranger Games, um, published by Ratalika. Um Doesn't that seem like a bit too much? Asking kids to make these kinds of decisions? I mean, I had to help a lady and her baby. There are always greater needs than ours, Ro. Helping those two was your greatest need, as theirs will be to help others in time. Yeah, rattle like her and it's like four quid, so it pops up. Plus it's like a one hour completion. I've been playing this for an hour and I've not finished it. Um, I'm just playing it through to see what's going on. Uh, I'm quite enjoying it, though I really don't have a clue what's going on yet. Yeah, that's the one leaky. You can also do exclamation mark. No, you can't do Xbox info because it's an other game because it's not in the damn database. Um, it's on TA, so yeah. Um, we may be spirits stuck in purgatory, but at least we still know what it means to be human. <sighs> you have a special gift, Ro. Use it to find your way home. I will, but just one more thing. It's about Shoujo. Hmm. He had a family, you know. He lost them the day he lost you. I see. Oh, thanks, Alkesh. Also, hi. I'm not, I'm not asking you to forgive him. I just want you to remember who he once was. It's a difficult thing to forgive someone. Especially over the carelessness of his actions. But he did die alongside us. I just wish he had told us. We all could have lived through this. I think you still can. I still believe in second chances. Even after death. Then I bid you farewell, Ro. I hope you find your way home. I think he represents... Oh! Takes a lot to sink a friendship. I think he represents the dead crew. I remember this place. I'm sure there was a bright light. Hmm? Oh, a lighthouse. A lighthouse! <laughs> There's no light though. Hmm? What's this? Lighter? Oh, hello. Have we got the lighter again? We've got a crowbar and a bottle of rum. End of the line. What is this place? Okay. We probably would have got an achievement for giving the dude his rum, but you know me. I'm not one to give an alcoholic alcohol, given a choice in a main playthrough. <laughs> it goes against. Oh, I like mushrooms. Oh, God. I s seem to remember spending ages picking up mushrooms in my big sister. That was a good game. It's empty. Why 
was I expecting someone to be here? I just want to go home. Oh, hang on. Someone did hear you. Huh? Hello, I'm little... Oh, hang on, that's probably Aria. Hello, I'm Little Jacket! Oh, you're so cute. Please don't call me that. It disturbs me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. So, what are you doing here? Miss. Oh, my name's Ro. And I'm not sure how I even got here. Well then, welcome to the Lighthouse of Dreams. Where all your dreams may come. Ha, just joking. But seriously, this is the end of the line for you. The, the end of the line? You, you mean I can finally go home? Well, that depends. Depends on what? On how many souls you saved. Just joking. All you have to do is just turn on the lights. That's it? That's it. I bet there's a catch. No catch, just a word of warning. The lighthouse keeper is not one to lie to. The lighthouse keeper? She's sort of like the very first spirit. She controls the lamp at the top of the lighthouse. Even if you know how to turn on the lights, she's the one that lets you. Anyway, good luck! You should go up the ladder. She is waiting for you. Okay. I've still got a crowbar. <gasps> so, so you're the lighthouse key. What do you want? Well, what? What do you want? I just want to go home. Do you now? Is that really what you want? It, it is, yes. Sometimes we can't have the things that we want. Like a second chance. Do you believe that everyone deserves a second chance? Yes, I do. Everyone deserves a second chance. Even ones like me? Like you? You'll see, I too have suffered a fate worse than death. But it would be easier to just show you. Oh, okay. This is my unborn baby boy. We both died in a car accident. Do you think he deserves a second chance? Hi. Just as I thought. Yeah, this is a little morbid and slightly bad and triggery and creepy. You're just like the others. Just go. You're no god to us. But I... We don't need you. Goodbye. Oh. Is it over? Oh, well, I tried. There is a better ending. I guess it really is over. Sigh. Oh, well. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, I got to the end. Yes, these Stranger Games. Story characters, artwork, music, scripting by Stranger. Additional sounds provided by various royalty-free websites. English translation, which was not spell-checked. Oops. Um, Patreons and donors: Giggle Scar, Carl Savant, Gabrielle Gomez, Matthew Campbell, Pizzi, Seva, Sarah Diaz. Special thanks. Credits module. 1.17 by SSH. Grab the games. My wife and kids love you all so much. In memory of my cousin, Blake, may you rest in peace. Well, that's sad. Game Engine Tools, Adventure Game Studio, Asperite, Ableton Live 9, Elbow Grease. <laughs> Thank you for playing Red Bow. Thank you for making Red Bow. Okay, right. Now we've played through once. Okay. Oh dear. Wow.
giving up. Good ending. Okay. I managed to get 25 out of 37 in one playthrough. That's pretty cool. Took some screenshots earlier from the council. Oh yeah, and I literally just downloaded this because I went lo loaded it up and went, oops. Okay, so let's do some different choices. <sighs> like trying to set the lady on fire and I don't know. So we can't get out of the back door or whatever, so let's just grab the key. Okay. And also I'll save my voice during um So maybe we, we can obviously put something different on the stone. Oh, I finished my tea. Damn it. Okay, before we carry on, I'm going to make some new tea. So I'll be right back.
Okay, you're right. I'm just gonna go through this again. Excuse me. Searching for a question that's no one asked it before. Right. Okay. Well, we gave her the weird pendant thing that we've got. That didn't work. So. dying person. So I'm not sure you could do this, get all the achievements all in one go. I think you pr definitely need a couple of playthroughs, but it is quite short. That was about an hour for the first playthrough. But if you don't, if you skip through all the text, then... Um, probably could do this really quickly with if you had a walkthrough. I don't know how many playthroughs it requires, but yeah, I got m I got two thirds of the achievements in one go. So instead of putting the pendant on the stone first time, which we've talked to this person, we're going to go back. So, hmm. okay. Oh, the shiny, a picture. It's a picture of a baby in a crib. Okay. Hello. Rockabye baby. In the cold cot. Please help. P please help, Muro. Please. Can I show you the picture of the baby? Kira, I have something for you. I, I, is that... My baby. Daisy. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I just couldn't bear life without you. I need you. What happened to Kira? It was all my fault. I took my eyes off her for just a moment. There was a lovely breeze that day. Blew my old red ribbon into her crib. Oh, your chariot has arrived. Good. I'm glad you can get out of the cult. <laughs> Safe journey. Exactly like the one you're wearing now. She wrapped it around her neck when she rolled over. <gasps> oh no! I couldn't even hear her last cries. I'm so sorry, Akira. I'm the one that should be sorry. It was my fault I ended up here. I deserve to be here. It wasn't your fault, Akira. It wasn't Daisy's either. How are you doing today, Leaky? I can help you get out of here. But you can't bring her back. Can you? Leave me, Ro. Leave me here. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna find you a way back home. Please help me at all, please. Okay, well now we have two items. Can we put the, um, the baby picture? On the debris. You're 
let's just say Vakira, then it will be done. No, that death is not to be forgiven, but to be remembered. Oh, there we go. One different choice. Forgiveness. Okay, it can't be heard by those who can't hear it. Hmm. What a weird dream. Road, that creature. I'm just glad I'm finally awake. I wonder if the best ending is saving all of them. In which case, I should save the smiley lady. And the soldiers and see if that makes a difference at the end. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, basically the only thing I screwed up was with the very first decision. Shop. Okay. So we won't set her on fire. cool game. I, I like the sort of the little one hour playthrough concept with multiple choices. Um. My big sister had multiple endings or my little big sister, whatever it was called. It was my big sister. Um. But the, the, the game was a lot longer. This one is obviously quite short. washing herself in front of the television. Luckily not literally in front of the television, otherwise that would be quite annoying because we have to see. Okay. So yes, we're not setting anyone on fire this time. But we will do a third we'll have to do a third playthrough. Okay, even. Yeah, I still can't figure out what he should do. Yeah, literally looks like a head.
I'm thinking that that saves her, and saving the other guy saves... Yeah. Thinking that's definitely a save thing. Obviously, it's very quick to finish this game if you just skip through all the dialogue. I'm only skipping through the non-new stuff, so... No. No scratchy the sofa cushion thingy. go through and do all the selfish endings, see if we can figure out how to set her on fire. I didn't actually figure that out before. Attention, you gotta come over here, Callie. And if you're hungry, then there's a butt ton of food around. I can talk to the captain now. point someone has to tell me whether they have had a good day or not because otherwise I'm going to think no one's watching managed to find the hole 
wrong this time. There we go. Right, to lighthouse. We helped the lady with the baby this time, which we would have done last time if I'd have realised what was going on. I just thought the pendant made a lot of sense. This has taken like, yeah. So I reckon there's probably like two endings and a couple of death things as long as you save. So, but I'm doing it three times because I mucked up the first bit. Okay. So you're the lighthouse keeper. What do you want? What? What do you want? I just want to go home. Do you now? Is that really what you want? It is. Yes. Sometimes we can't have the things that we want, like a second chance. Do you believe that everyone deserves a second chance? Yes, I do. Everyone, everyone deserves a second chance. Even ones like me. Like you? You see, I too have suffered a fate worse than death. But it would be easier to just show you. This is my unborn baby boy died in a car accident. Do you think he deserves a second chance? I... Just as I thought. You're just like the others. What? Not having another ending? Oh. Well... Callie's not impressed. Oh. That's annoying. I felt sure if I saved them all, I would get another ending. <sighs> You'll go boss eyed if you look at the screen that close, Callie. Come over here, Callie girl. Where did I save this time? Oh, I saved there, so that's not any good. Damn. Um, how do I how do I actually exit? Ah, there we go. There you go. Okay. We'll try one more time to get a couple of different achievements.
Oh. Can't help my nose. And then... I guess if we can... If we can't, after we've done this, get a different ending. Then I guess I don't know. <laughs> Maybe look it up. So I've got different at the beginning, but okay. So there's a third option I think here, rather than showing her the f photo, just going and putting the photo on the thing, and then setting the, what's it on fire, and then giving the dude the booze. Those are three different things that I could do. <laughs> Sorry, my friend buzzed. <laughs> Callie is now not blocking the TV, but on the TV table. She's not pouring, she's looking at me rather than the TV, so that's the stuff. If I get up suddenly... Then it's because I have to go grab a cat. And then I'll probably end up pulling all my wires, but... Um, Sorry for anyone that's just joined, um, <sighs> but I've already been through this t twice, and I, I, d I voiced it once, so. Kitty. Oh no, she's right in front of the text. doing anything wrong particularly she's literally just sitting in front of the TV which is kind of irritating luckily I don't have to read this but okay. 
I'll just save her without talking to her. See if that makes a different decision. Gotta move it. I can't see, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just worried she's going to try and scratch it again. Not that she scratched it, but I'm just trying to do it. <laughs> now she's interested in the monitor, but that's okay. Now we're going to actually try and set this person on fire. Kelly! Seriously, get off! <laughs> Badly placed tail. Entirely badly placed cat. <sighs> Just right in the middle of everything. Just going into the windowsill. Cool. Right. That's better. I can see what I'm doing now. So yeah, if this... I don't actually know how you get an unhappy ending, but if we do all the bad things... There's got to be some combination that gets you the good ending. It's not as long. It's definitely not as long. Well, it's, it's, it's 
could never be as long as my big sister. That was a good sort of couple of hours. Um, no, more than that. Like four? I don't know. I have to have a look at my VOD. That was a lot longer. This one is just sort of three scenes. But to get a good ending where I'm assuming the lady... Um, down first. Okay, this doesn't work. Wait, Ro, what are you doing? Why are you pouring oil everywhere? I'm setting a trap. I'm, set I'm going to lure her here and burn her. Will that work? It's worth a try. There, now all I need to do is leave Minikul here. I'm just going to grab the cable just in case it makes a difference. It's because I'm talking away and I'm assuming everyone can hear me. But no one's answered my question as to how they're doing today, so aside from Superboy, he locked himself out. Um, so. I'm hoping everyone can hear me. I mean, the volume thing's going up. Set someone on fire. That's okay. Just wanted to say hi. Kelly, come over here, please. You're in the way. She's lying down, I can see. Right. Lighter. Hey, lady. I think you're pretty. Pretty hot. Fire. Ah! Why? I only want her to be pretty. Thank you, Ro. I never wanted you to come to this, but she left me no choice. I'm so sorry, my love. You are truly beautiful. As promised, Ro, I will send you home. I just wish everyone could go home. Okay, that's a different ending. Burn the bride! Abinus dies in flames. Not alive? Oh, it was just a dream. Right. Next step. I'm on a boat. Do you remember to eat, Leaky, if you've had a long day? And have you got a drink of tea? Because I know you forget to, you know, 
Take care of yourself. <laughs> Succeeded in being an adult. I want to go into the thing. Oh, I can't put oil in the bottle. Okay. Oh, I lost my pendant. Shadow, is this okay? Aha! Good old rum. <laughs> Ow! <coughs> You've done well, Lars. I drown my, my troubles. Um, excuse me? Are you going to help me find a way home? Huh? Alright. I can send you home. Just try to keep out of trouble. Okay, I haven't done this in a while. My apologies if you end up somewhere else. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, that was a bottle for something. A map to nowhere. can't see because there's a cat head in the way. Oh, a bottle for a map. Okay, so what have we got left? Hanging shadow, red glow, second chance, unfixable mistake, bottomless fate, awaken, and giving up. Hmm. Okay, well... I haven't been able to do anything else when I get up to the lighthouse keeper. So, I found a lighter. I mean, if I could light the light, that'd be great, but she won't let me get to it. So, there's obviously something I'm missing. can't give her anything or interact with anything there. So I have a crowbar rum lighter. Yeah, 
I don't know how I can get to an ending. Is it over? It's really over. Oh well. Alright, so that was not a different ending. Alright, I'm going to have a very quick peek. See if anyone's put a solution. Um, or at least have a look at an idea of what direction I'm supposed to go in. Try not to sneeze too much. Okay. Okay, well, the hanging shadow, you look through the window of the hut. Okay. <laughs> ah. So, after picking up the photo, okay. Give the ribbon to Kubi. So only two times, Shoujo then give rum. Okay. Use the gate switch five times to free Umbi. Cool. Alright, good ending. Give ribbon, give photo. And then end the chapter by talking to Umbi. Okay, right. And how do I give up? Oh, give pendant, burn. Ah, so I've managed to do everything but not all at the same time. Okay. <laughs> right. I think I. Right. Perfect. Let uh, me exploit the save game thing to get some of these. Okay. One, two, three. You know what? Screw it. Let's free him. Doesn't sound good. Great! What's that sound? Uh oh. <laughs> ah, that was a bottomless something. If I'd done the pendant, um, then this would have been the bad ending. But I didn't do the pendant, I did the photo. supposed to how many times was I supposed to talk to him okay what good will that now ah there we are that, that's probably it 
been drowning at my sorrows for far too long. It's about time I end this suffering of mine. Wait, Shoto! I've waited long enough. Goodbye, Ro. And thank you for helping me set things straight. Oh. That was an unlivable, unfixable mistake. Okay. So let's see if we can get a good ending. Bearing in mind that giving the pendant, burning the lady, and giving him the run without talking to the dude is the bad ending. Which I probably will do off stream. If, cause I, right, I'd like to end on the good ending. And then that should be the only one. Okay, so let's go quit. And do a new game. Just whiz through. Get the good bits. Whatever time's the charm. She's not covering any bit of it. But everyone's getting fed up with this game now. <laughs> I was going to do another promo, but I might, might do that a different day.
can see her shadow swinging back and forth. There's the bleep bloop for that. I'm still going to show the photo. <sighs> because she should feel redeemed. achievement for looking at two sinks. That is really silly. Oh, hello. What's this? A ribbon? Bleep bloop for a ribbon. It gleams in the grey. Red glow. Alright. Red ribbon. the road. A red ribbon. I haven't seen this since... Since you killed yourself with it? Daisy? That is no longer my name. Why? I have a new purpose. This is my purpose now. I have a question for you. Then speak it. If you had a choice, what would you do? I was never given a choice. Beings are incapable of such things at a young age. I had no choice. You do now. Then my choice is this. Goodbye, Ro. twist. Bleep bloop. A second chance. Lives are precious. Okay, we're getting into the good ending. Weird dream road creature, blah blah blah. Hello. Right. Back door. So yes, this could definitely be done in two playthroughs. Good ending, bad ending. With a couple of save and do some stupid death things once here and twice on the ship so yeah definitely you could definitely do it in under an hour well probably an hour if you just did two endings, bad ending, good ending, save the game, electrocute yourself and in the sewers, and save the game, and um, do the two ending on the ship that I just did. Um, open the thing and then talk to the dude and give him the bottle and he just goes, ah, oh, what's the point? As long as you remember, you know, interact with the sink and everything. So, easy thousand G. Obviously, I've taken two hours because, or over two hours because, well, I was trying to figure out stuff on my own. I almost had the bad ending. I just should have done the, um, should have done the pendant instead of the photo, and I would have got the bad ending. Then I would have just had to do the good ending. not done the entire thousand on the stream, but I figured, you know, rather than start something new. Oh, 
Okay, that was just the red bow. I think that was um, the wrong picture. I'm doing lots of job hunting interviewee stuff and it's very tiring. Um, so I might stream tomorrow or I might stream something at the weekend, I don't know. Whew, cold shiver suddenly. I really felt sure she was going to eat me when that happened last time. I don't even know, need to go back in the ship and get the rum for the good ending. I should just talk to them back and forth. So I don't need to go and get that key. Let's just shorten this place here.
just talking to him. Yeah, it's a lot easier if I don't have to go fishing out keys and cracking open crates. Stretchy cat, get your butt out of the way of the text. Right, now hopefully we get a different ending. Yes, we should only have a lighter. Yeah. If we didn't pick anything else up. Lighthouse keep. What do you want? What? What do you want? I just want to go home. Do you now? Is that really what you want? It is, yes. Sometimes we can't have the things that we want. Like a second chance. Do you believe that everyone deserves a second chance? No, I don't. I believe that's not my choice to make. That should be up to the person asking for one. Hmm. What about me? You? You see, I too have suffered a fate worse than death. But it would be easier to just show you. It was a different Tracy thing. This is my unborn baby boy. We both died in a car accident. I did this to my child. Do you think he can ask for a second chance? Well. No, he can't. Just as I thought. That doesn't mean it was your fault. Huh. What do you mean? You said it yourself. It was an accident. It was an accident caused by me. You have no idea what it's like to lose a child. You're right. I don't. But then why am I here? Sorry. I brought you here. With many others. To help us. I can't help you. I can't help anyone. Then we truly are forever lost. No. That's not true. I've seen this world for what it is. A dark and sorrowful place. But it's what I can hear that shines the light through. The people, their souls, the stories. They forget what it was that made them human. Their pasts were painful, but their futures don't have to be. Helping each other isn't enough. Helping ourselves is how we make our future bright. What about those who can't help themselves? Like us. Sigh. I haven't been helping anyone. I just remind them what life is all about. Struggling whilst holding on to our memories. Hmm, I see. If you're the one that created this place, then you should know. If these souls were once people, People who are stuck in one memory. Like an infinite loop. Then how do we help ourselves, Ro? By remembering. Remembering what it meant to be alive. To cherish the ones we've loved and lost, so that they can become a memory too. I remember someone saying, When we die, the ones who loved us will miss us. They never will forget us. Well, Ro. Thank you. I can never forgive myself for this, but his memory will live on. As for yours. You both deserve a memory. I will allow you to light the lamp. And then I can go home? Yes, you may. But before you do, can I ask you something? Sure. I would like to have your bow. 
My bow? Yes, I would like to keep it here. As a symbol of hope for us. Here, take it, please. Ooh, hello. Awaken. Good ending. Is it over? Wait, my bow. I guess it really is over. I feel sorry for the next person to wear the bow. Okay, that should be... Yes. <laughs> okay, so being as that no one's really replied when I've asked questions on the stream, I will ask. Do you want to see the bad ending? I don't know. I think it's basically just a combination of all the bits I've already done. <sighs> but ending in a bleep bleep, exactly. I should be able to flip through it fairly quickly. I put a whole like sheet of bubble wrap down on the TV table because I read somewhere that cats don't like bubble wrap when it pops. But she doesn't pop it when she's walking, so she's just curled up on it. <laughs> it was cuter on Tuesday when she was curled up next to me. But she won't settle next to me today for some reason. But she wants to sleep a different place today. Weirdo kitty. It's interesting that it's a baby. That's interesting. Callie's just got a big head right in the middle of the screen. She's lying down again. Good. I can mostly see. So the shortest of shortcuts basically pendant on the rock. Which I did the first time thinking it was a great sacrifice. <laughs>
keep on hitting save because I'm trying to go sideways for some reason. So I need to set her on fire. What noise sounds like a guinea pig? taken me three times as long as anybody else to finish this game. It's got the wrong picture again, since I died on the boat, but I'm okay with that because it was kind of a creepy picture. Right, pick up the crowbar first. There we go. We need to go down before we can go pick up the oil and then spread the oil before. Otherwise, we can't set her on fire.
pretty hot. Burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno. Burn, baby, burn. Do on a do 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 on a burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, 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 burn. Alright, so I do need to go get the key with the fishing rod. And then this will be it, and then that will be the end of the stream. This has been a nice game. I enjoyed it. Yowling, Kelly. What are you yowling about, honeybee? Come here if you want some pets. Kitty, why are you yelling? Hey! Leave her alone. Come up here. Come on, Kelly. broke the crowbar. Yeah, I still have the crowbar. Or was it it broke the crate? Good old rum. So we used our pendant, we set her on fire, and we gave him the rum. So we've done all bad things. This should be the bad ending. And then, end of the stream. I can see why Callie is yowling at me. <sighs> she's yowling like when she was shut in the cage to go to the vet. I'm like, but she's not in the cage, so. Luckily, it's pretty quick to get through it when you just zoom. Okay, let's see what the ending says. So you're the lighthouse key. What do you want? What? What do you want? I just want to go home. Do you now? Is that really what you want? It is, yes. Sometimes we can't have the things that we want. Like a second chance. Do you believe that everyone deserves a second chance? I don't care. I've had enough of this place. I just want to go home. Very well. Ooh, in which case, actually, I think there's three endings. Is it over? Giving up. But we all depend on you, Ro. Right, there are three endings. There's the good ending, the bad ending, and the you got some things right ending. <laughs> so 
So you've got to play it through three times. So it probably takes a little over an hour. Unless you're really quick on the clicking. <laughs> Can't do this again. Please wake me up. Please. You. Yes, you. Wake me up. <laughs> okay. I'll <laughs> leave that on there. Go to the end screen. That was... 100% nice work. You've unlocked all the achievements. Oh, Yowly Kitty. Come here, Yowly Kitty. Come on. Come here, Callie. Come on. Callie. Where are we? There we go. Say hi to the stream. Say hi to the stream. Mwah. All right. I'm gonna give Yali Kitty a hug. And she's gonna stick her claws in me. <laughs> All right. Thank you everyone for watching. I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. <laughs> okay, putting the kitty down before I get clawed to death. Okay, I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. This has been a promotional stream, thanks to Rattleica Games for the code for this game, Redbow. Yow, yow, yow. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Sorry, you've all been too tired to talk. Um, but it's okay, the week's nearly over. Um, otherwise known as Cali Cat. Yes. Cali the Calico. Anyway, I better go and. God knows why she's yelling. I gotta go discover why she's yelling. And I probably won't, but then I'll just go to bed. So, good night from me, good night from Cali, and uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.